What I'm doing, I'm building an inline UV water purification system for a water system. Now, I've already did this part, so I'm kind of explaining it. Bought this bulb, it's a UVC. Now, it's a UVC, not UVA or B or anything like that. Not a black light, it's UVC. It's a 254 nanometer wavelength, uh, germicidal uh, type of bulbs. This is a regular light bulb filament here, uh, socket. And of course, it's quartz glass, which UVC can pass through. What I'm going to do is see if I can actually, um, I'm going to build an inline with PVC pipe. Now, I use epoxy. Um, this is all, um, I think this is 2 inch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is 2 inch pipe, PVC. And um, I had a cap here, and I just drilled a hole. And you can I'll put the uh, where I got this and what it looks like before I put it in. But this white stuff is epoxy, so I don't want any water getting into the actual part, the guts of this thing, the electrical aspect of it. And I don't want any short, so I put the same thing on the back side. All right, so that's what we got on here. Now this whole thing was to do this. I got an in and an out, so this so go on this little T, which I have this little, I believe it's a one inch, um, it's where the inlet will come in, and I have the uh, male end somewhere, anyway, the male end will fit on this. Of course, this is a, let me take this out so I don't damage it or anything like that, and this is a little bit little piece here now uh, aligned inside with that aluminum um, uh, was duct tape type of uh, they use insulation and stuff like that so I did some strips and stuck it in there so this will fit on this piece the light will go on this end this will be the inlet water's coming in from a regular spigot hose of a cistern and this uh, I just kind of gave it a variable length here a couple of feet um, a foot and a half for the water to reside and all it's going to do is come at, well, i got a couple right here, this goes on this end and then here's the female end of the water spigot so it's basically going to have that and again with the silver tape also put it on the end of this so it'll reflect that UVC as much as possible to purify the water uh, getting rid of any pathogens, microorganisms uh, UVC light has been used a long time, hospitals, uh, where food processing is, water purification, air purification, uh, it kills the DNA of these microorganisms that cannot reproduce um, or multiply or whatever you want to call it. It uh, kills the DNA that can't do that, so um, it'll kill lice, bed bugs, uh, Lights, uh, all kinds of, um, you look it up, it's pretty good. But the only problem is you can't look at this light. Uh, I got a flash, well, this flash by fooling with another UVC that I was experimenting with, a fluorescent one. Now, the, um, my whole experiment here is hopefully the water hitting this won't damage it, won't do anything, because I've tried putting plastic clear tubing everything else but UVC light will not pass through anything but quartz and I think some plastic I can't remember the name of it I even tried that and it didn't work so um, I'm gonna just try it hitting it you can buy systems but they are very very expensive so I'm just doing my own homemade do-it-yourself again the reflective tape this will be you know in here the sun, the atmosphere uh, blocks UVC, uh, UVA comes through, that's where you get your suntan, sunburns, NB, percentage, a certain percentage of B, uh, and also just letting you know UVA uh, will pass through glass, and B will not, and C will not. So. Alright, PVC glued uh, on this little joint, and also with the lights fixed in there, so you can kind of see the... Uh, How's it going on in there? <clears throat> Glue, I'm just gonna dry. That's the outlet. That's the inlet. That's where I'm below. 
<clears throat> wire made up for that. up this clear tubing here so that way to know if the UV is working because I won't be able to see I can pro I can look into this tube because the UV light right underneath there. Mm -hmm. 